That's a beautiful sunrise. Jesus, take the wheel. He's like, just follow the sun. Have I mentioned what a great travel companion she is? She just curls up and is like, okay, let's go for a ride. I'll just sleep. I trust you. I'll lead when we go for walks. You can lead when we go for drives. I've never been to the the dump area, so this will be my first time. This is all new to me. I've got one little bag, and it doesn't have a lot, but I'm gonna be out in the middle of nowhere for a few days, and I just made some tuna. What's that say? Rock pros. Um, and I just don't want that stinking up. So let's do this. That was easy. I just park here, dump it in one of these dumpsters, and that's it. Okay, this is where we decide, right or left? Well, we wanna go somewhere far away and secluded for a couple days. Come on, Noxie, we're not gonna go far. See how quiet it is over here? I mean, we have it all to ourselves. And we're right there. It's so pretty and tranquil. It's about 10 o'clock, I think. I don't know, time doesn't matter over here. I don't have any appointments or hot dates. Roxy's my only hot date. <laughs> Come on, hot date. On the weekends, you have the little side-by-sides coming through here. But during the week, it's pretty quiet. I'm watching. I'm watching for the coyotes. Because I did see some droppings. too cold for the snakes. Somebody's stuff is right there. Well guys, again, I did not listen to my intuition. I was so excited about having this spot that I'm at and I got out, leveled, and took Roxy for a walk right away at the wash because I love this area. I love the washes here. They're wide. Um, but I didn't listen to that voice. Something just told me like, take protection, be aware. And I just, I had my guard down, you know, and I was just like, la la la, you know, just doing my thing. And I was really more concerned with the coyotes because I saw a lot of their droppings and stuff and Roxy wasn't on the leash so I was just trying to watch her but then when I saw the items under the tree and they didn't look old they didn't look um like left behind for a long time they looked fairly new it was like a pretty new water bottle like a big one and a cot and I don't know what else, if it was a backpack or what, but I just thought, I'm not going any closer. I can't see under the tree to see if somebody's sitting there. I don't want to come across someone that, you know, is taken by surprise. Like, it could, you know, they could have a dog. Um, you know, we don't know who's in this country right now. And it could just be a lone 
you know, camper without a vehicle. But really, I mean, how did you get out here without a vehicle? And maybe they went into town and left their stuff. But who does that? If you have a vehicle, you don't leave. It looked fairly new. You don't leave stuff like that behind. It's not like you're saving this spot. Um, it's pretty secluded out here. So anyways, just something just told me, you know, just back away quietly, grab Roxy, and just start heading back. So <laughs> this will teach me, you know, when that voice tells me, take protection, I need to take protection, you know. Um, but mainly I was thinking for animals. I don't really worry about people so much, but I really need to. Um, and there are a couple people nearby, not too far. Um, but I didn't feel like now this is a place where I can just put all my stuff out, relax, get some sun and, uh, and then sleep well at night. You know, it's like, it only takes one person with bad intentions to catch you off guard and especially when they don't have a vehicle that's the one thing i think of is like do they want your vehicle you know like it's better to play it safe than sorry and there's plenty of other places to go don't get too attached about one place go explore other places i just i wanted to just kind of have some alone time for a couple days because i've been around so many people um i kind of need to be alone to you know fill up and then I can be around people for a few days and then go alone and fill up. That's how I've learned to listen to my body and listen to what I need. Um, so anyways, <sighs> oh well, that's just, you know, that's just the, the nature of boondocking in the desert. You know, you just have to be prepared to you know, for the unexpected and not that anything bad happened, you know, but again, it's better safe than sorry, especially cause I'm out where there's not a lot of people. Um, I go away from the crowds. And so there's probably three campers within a earshot. So anyways, we're just going to go and that's okay. Um, we'll find another place. So much for the rainbow. <laughs> so much for the rainbow. Well, maybe we'll go on the other side. Okay, bye guys. What a bummer. This is my favorite area. Well, we'll find another favorite area with big washes. Unfortunately, we don't know if people are camped in the wash elsewhere, you know, but we'll figure it out. If I had other people with me, I would stay because there's power in numbers, but being alone, being a female, 